Hey everyone, and welcome back to Suggested Creations, this time episode 3, the P-51 Mustang. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a plane, and uh, I find them to be obviously much harder to make than a helicopter. Uh, but nonetheless, I tried my best, and after a few changes, I was pretty happy with the way it was flying. Uh, and a special thanks, of course, to Sean Mara. Thank you for the suggestion, and uh, I'm happy to make it and happy to hear your suggestions. Uh, I have a big list now of things to make. Uh, you know, the P-38 Lightning, the CH-53 Super Stallion, a Corvette, you know, I think uh, to switch it up to a car would be really nice, too. Um, there's a whole bunch of things I saw. There's a plane from Halo. Uh, if you mean the D-77 Pelican, that thing looks pretty sweet, so I might have to give that a shot as well. So patience, and I will try my best to do as many of those as I can. But happy to try anyway. So here it is. This one is the P-51 Mustang. It was a lot of fun to build, uh, a lot of fun to figure out how to get it to fly. It was uh, a challenge in itself. Now, I am i always wish I could hide the thrusters, but of course, there's not really much I can do about that, so uh, you see them. But honestly, when it comes to planes, I, you can't make them too bulky or else they get way too big. And I think the whole point of making this plane, for me especially, uh, was to make something that was fast. So all my helicopters, they fly well. They fly smoothly, but they don't necessarily get you from one side of the map to the other before you even know it, you know? So this one definitely does that. Uh, as you can see, I have it all kind of wired up here. Uh, there's a, key, uh, a few uh, key features uh, that I've kind of included. Uh, the first thing, of course, is uh, this runway here. So uh, I'll upload the db file for this plane and it'll include the plane and I'll have it right here when I upload it but just to note you have to make sure you have it facing the right way so as you can see up in the top there's those wheels uh, the t-bar wheels are the back wheels so when you have those wheels facing out back this way you just put this right on that yellow square here and that'll get you lined up perfect to the runway everything's lined up here ready to go and as you can see I have it marked with that uh, yellow s uh, square so you can just walk up right underneath it and so you have access right here to the driver seat so you can get right in there uh, you have a few controllers and the motors uh, and some of the thrusters as well so you can change whatever you need to on, a f on the fly uh, another thing I'll show you as well is underneath the driver seat there's like an escape hatch so when you flip this thing over trust me you will flip this thing over uh, you can not worry about getting stuck within it but if you uh, add some seats to it on the wings or wherever you want for your friends if you guys maybe you know have a few people wanting to fly this thing or something but anyway you can put the lift up here like this and get inside here and change everything on the front end as well so that's just the opposite side I've also included a quick uh, car here, the friend mobile, so you can go around and drive your friends with you. And also this big huge control tower. It's really quick, simple design. You go up, you go down. So if you want to uh, maybe watch someone fly it, you can watch them from up here watch them take off. You can even try and land it. When I, I'll fly it. I'll show you guys what it's like when it's uh, being flown uh, and how landing it is possible. I've done it once. It was not smooth, but it was uh, fun to try. It's fun to try landing on back on this strip. You kind of just do a loop around the map, come right back again, and try and land here. Anyway, you can watch from up here. I think it'd be worth some good, uh, good laughs anyway. So you just go up the chairs to get up and just drop right back down to get out of here. So we'll get into this plane. Remember, just right on the yellow square here. And there you're in the 
the seat. Quickly go over the buttons here. So number one, if you need to, when you want to just pop out. Now of course I'll show you actually when the when the glass is down, you can get out and crouch and just kind of weave your way out like this. But it's kind of sweet to be able to just pop the glass open and then you can just kind of get on your wing, you know, and do what you need to do. So number two is the propeller. And I believe three is the landing gear. The landing gear has, as you can see right there on the front of the landing gear, has a couple holding bars because I noticed when the, uh, when you drive around like this, you can drive around with the engine and see how they wiggle and shake. They used to actually collapse under the plane, especially when you're trying to land. So those little bars there help with that. Uh, if you need to get into the front here, you can edit and change those thrusters as well in the front. Too easy. And then five is your upward thrust. You, that's And that's really important to note, actually, is um, five is definitely your upward thrust, but the most important one is six. So you need to have um, that momentum going forward to steer, because as you can see, I have all these... Um, ailerons, if you want to call them, uh, rigged up to thrusters, and they will do a great job of uh, steering the entire plane. So, um, six is the forward button, seven and eight is your left and right tilt, nine is bring your nose up, and zero is bring your, or sorry, nine is bring your tail up, and zero is bring your tail down. And one thing you'll notice is while you're flying, you have to pretty much constantly have your one of your fingers on zero ready to bring yourself back to flat but when you focus on the zero while flying it just makes it really easy so I'll show you guys what a takeoff looks like here so as you can see I'm just tapping zero if I let go of zero, it kind of flies straight, but eventually your nose will start to dip. So you can just keep on tapping zero. And basically, you need to constantly uh, press five to uh, stay upright in the air. So I will just show you guys I guess kind of a lap around the map a bit here. And this thing can go pretty fast, you know. I mean, before you know it, you're at the edge of the wall and you don't know how you got there. And then you're flipping over. Sometimes it's important to keep your nose up. That way you don't start going too fast. And just remember to, every now and then, turn off your upward thrust so that way you don't uh, go too high and then hit the ceiling. Sometimes I can't change the camera angle, but I just, I remember what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm ready to turn around here. And so I'm going to come back around to the, uh, to the landing strip and try and show you guys a half-decent landing anyway. And, uh, we'll hope for the best. As you can see, though, it just flies too easy. It's a safe landing. Yeah. I can't believe it worked. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, like I said, I'll include the download for this plane in the description. And uh, you guys can give it a shot. Let me know what you think. And uh, 
like I said, I'll try and get to as many of those suggestions as I can. Uh, I'll hopefully do as all of them, but uh, they all look like a lot of fun, and uh, and it's going to be pretty exciting for some scrap, uh, scrap mechanic. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for checking it out.